Lexington Medical Center has confirmed both the hospital and DHEC have completed initial testing on anyone who may have come in contact with a patient infected with tuberculosis at the Lexington Oncology Infusion Center between August 19th and September 30th. Our News 19 medical reporter Rosemary Belts is here to talk a little bit about the disease. So Rose, what are the chances of someone actually <laughs> catching TB? <laughs> close contact with someone who has active TB for a significant period. Tuberculosis mainly affects your lungs. That's because bacteria spreads when an infected person coughs, sneezes, or speaks, and an uninfected people person will, can breathe it in. So anyone can catch TB. In fact, the World Health Organization estimates that 1.8 billion people are infected. It usually doesn't cause symptoms immediately, and typically you get sick in three stages. First, while you may have been exposed, but don't get sick because a healthy immune system does a pretty good job of fighting off the bacteria. In the second stage, a person who carries the bacteria but doesn't have symptoms could have latent TB. This is not a contagious stage. However, it's the third stage when latent TB can become active TB. This is the stage where the disease becomes contagious and some common symptoms are coughing, chest pain, difficulty breathing, fatigue, fever, and night sweats those most at risk for contracting TB and reaching the active stage are people with conditions that weaken the body's immune system, like HIV AIDS, diabetes, kidney disease, and certain cancers. Here's another interesting thing about TB. The bacteria usually attacks the lungs, but it can attack any part of the body, including the kidneys, spine, or brain. If you think you've been exposed or have symptoms, check with a doctor. It can be diagnosed with a skin or blood test. TB is curable with antibiotics, but untreatable TB can be deadly and put other people at risk. There is a vaccine for TB. It is not widely used in the U.S. because it does not always protect people from getting sick, but it is given to children in countries where TB is common. According to the Mayo Clinic, dozens of new TB vaccines are being tested. In the studio, I'm Rosemary Belts. Ladies, back All to right, you. Rose, thank you so much. And that's so important um, that Lexington Medical Center got on top of that right. because obviously if it's in the oncology department, these are patients who have a weakened immune system. Right. So for, you can find this story on our website, WLTX.com, if you need more information. And again, if you think you have any of those symptoms, just see a medical provider.